talking about the interaction of application gateway with additional reverse proxies or edge acceleration, global server load balancers that are put in front of it and how we can identify traffic, use custom rules to change behavior of the application gateway based on the original IP, even though it came through another service. In this case, I've got Azure front door, but this could equally be Akamaya or Cloudflare, etc. And we'll talk about using the X forwarded for field, sometimes known as true client IP, how that works with custom rules in the WAF engine. And then we'll look at the ability to mask the IP data from the logs using the new log scrubbing feature on application gateway. And we'll show that the two things can be true at the same time. We can use the data in the HTTP headers to change the behavior of app gateway, but we can also then hide it from the application gateway firewall log. So in my demo here, I've got the application gateway in the middle, public IP on the front end. I'm going to show Azure front door as my first layer of reverse proxy in front of it. So my Azure front door instance is simply set up to send to app gateway and app gateway forward to the back end web server over here on the right hand side. So the default behavior is worth having a look at initially. So if I go to my back end web server, I'll show you what a packet capture looks like with everything in its default state. But I've initiated a request here from my home computer to my Azure front door instance. And this is my home IP address. When we inspect the packet on the web server, we can see that this is just uh, looking inside of the HTTP headers. And we can see that this IP address here that got inserted in the X forwarded for header, this is the IP address of Azure front door, got inserted as Azure front door passed it to application gateway. But when the packet originally came into Azure front door, Azure front door inserted my home IP address. So when my web server finally gets the packet, it sees the traffic coming from both the original client, my home, and Azure front door. Now, if we were to look inside of the application gateway logs at the client IP field, we would see this IP address here. Here's an example of me doing that. I've jumped into the logs and the specific field here called client IP is capturing the Azure front door backend ranges. If we go back to our diagram, we realize that's not super useful when it comes to making decisions. For example, if I want to say, you know, traffic coming into my application gateway should do certain things based on the original client IP, it doesn't make any sense to use that client IP field if it's always the Azure front door backend. So for example, if I want to implement geo filtering here, it doesn't make sense if I'm using the, the edge IP address. So that's the default behavior. And what we can do to sort of work around that is we can use custom rules inside of application gateway to make changes based on additional fields. So I'm going to use the data that's inside of the HTTP header called X forwarded for. As I said, that's what Azure Front Door uses. If you're using Akamai or Cloudflare, they will insert the same information inside of a HTTP header called true-client-ip, which we can use in the same way. So here you can see, for example, I've got a custom rule set up on my App Gateway WAF that is matching based on geolocation. That's the geolocation of the IP address, but importantly, it's the IP address inside of the header that's called X forwarded for. If I wanted to use true client IP, I could just change that to whatever I like. And I'm saying here, if that IP address is identified as coming from the United Kingdom, deny the traffic. If it's not coming from the United Kingdom, the original client, then we will allow the traffic. 
We can verify that by going to my Azure front door FQDN that I set up. Remember, front door is sending traffic to my app gateway. If I try and access the site here from my home computer, I get a forbidden message here. When we jump into the application gateway logs, I've enabled diagnostic logs, including the, the firewall log here. We can see why that's the case. So I'm filtering here based on anything using custom rules, anything that's blocked. We dive into one of these, for example. We can see that being denied based on this rule called geo. And it's matching the X44 of my home address because it's from Great Britain as a geo match. To verify that a bit further, I've got another virtual machine here that's hosted in the Netherlands. If I go to the same website without making any changes to my app gateway, you can see that's working fine. I'm getting a, a correct HTTP response back. This is my basic backend uh, web config that I have running. It's actually running in a on-premises data center in Paris. So just to replay back there, we showed that our custom rule can leverage geofiltering based on the HTTP header that we specify based on where my client's coming from. So my home here was blocked by App Gateway and my, my Dutch client managed to come through and get routed to my backend. So we solved sort of part of the original challenge I talked about. What we'll see um, when we look into the logs, as I just showed you, we see their particular IP address that the application gateway reacted based upon. However, for auditing purposes and data privacy purposes, perhaps GDPR, etc., you may have a desire, including regulated industries like PCI, you may have a desire or a need to stop the logging of this data from the application gateway logs that go to places like storage accounts, event hub, log analytics. So what we can do to change that behavior is the following. Inside of our WAF policy, just below where we edited custom rules before, we have the sensitive data setting. If we enable that log scrubbing feature, and again, we choose the particular um, match variable to be a header name, we can specify the header to be whatever we want. As I say, if it's Cloudflare or Akamai, you can use true client IP. I'm using X44 because that's what Azure front door inserts. I've enabled that feature. And if we rerun the request and it gets blocked again, and we go back and look at the logs second time, what we see is we still get the block the application gateway is still reacting based upon that header. However, the masking of the log data is happening with these starring out of the data fields there. Okay, I hope you found that useful. So in summary, we highlighted there how it's very common to chain uh, multiple reverse proxies. And when you get to the middle tier here, you may have a desire to configure it to react in certain ways based on a geo match in the original client. Maybe you want to, for example, uh, allow or block specific original clients. And to do that, we can't just use the, the default client IP field because that will be the, the back end of your edge solution. We showed how we could use the custom rules inside of the WAF policy to leverage that uh, header information. And then we went one step further, which was to show how we can continue to leverage that information and use the log scrubbing feature to remove the information that we reacted upon from the application gateway logs, which you might need to do for security and privacy reasons.